Hello everybody, welcome back. Day three of our Oktoberthon. We're back out here at the pig pen. And uh, we're trying to take the material we have on hand that we had and reconfigure a little uh, pig hut here. So we're gonna go ahead, use the same roof. And it's uh, eight feet by six, well, five and a half feet. And we're gonna go ahead and move that. It was over in the corner. We had a hodgepodge mess over here, if you guys remember from yesterday. We're gonna slide it over right to there and build it right here and then we're gonna have a little eight foot by five foot hut to start with I think it'll work great for a few months while they're younger and if we have to add an addition onto it we will but for now it'll shed water a little better and it'll be fine for them young those young piglets so uh, right back here we're gonna put a four by eight sheet of that siding that was in, involved in the other one up against the back it's gonna be our backdrop and uh, go from there so let's get after it and see what happens so we got our board screwed on the back there we got a couple boards here screwed onto that board so we can screw the uh, sideboard on we got a couple holes drilled we're gonna drop a couple small posts here to support the roof and uh, it's about five feet to the backstop there so that's what she's looking like all right guys check it out this is what we got going on it's actually turning out pretty nice, I would say. It's about five feet tall in the front and about four in the back there. And got a nice watershed. And the other good part about it is we'll be able to come in here, um, lean over a little bit, of course, but to spread out straw and stuff, it'll work out good. And if it does get too cold, we will put something on the front to where they just have one little area to go in here during the real cold months, um, try to accommodate them, but we'll find something for the side, there and there. Little airflow is not bad, so there might be a little airflow up top. And of course, if it gets real cold, we will block that off. But for now, we're just trying to block the wind from them. And they usually do pretty good, but let's get after it. I kind of like it. It's turning out kind of nice, nice little shed. Boy. Getting sidetracked by chores. We had another rain come in. Took us away out of action for a minute. Now it's time to get the birds in. And in the meantime, I was trying to upload a video on YouTube. And I tell you what, it's been a real booger. I can't quite figure out what's going on with YouTube lately. And I, I think some other people are having some difficulties, but if you guys know, let me know down below. <laughs> it gets that video uploaded. It's supposed to be uploaded, but it sits there and does that little circle of death or whatever they call it forever. And anyways, the rain quit. We're back out here. And hopefully we'll have a little bit of time to keep working on the pig pen. Get these birds in. How many we got out there? There's a little guy out there. Oh, the roosters are starting to fight with each other. Anyways, so we'll get these birds in and then I'll hopefully get back on my little pig pen right out there. <laughs> Coming back. Back at the pen here. So we went ahead and put this board right here. And like I said, it was going to leave a gap. Actually a little bit more than the gap than I wanted. Because um, this wasn't four feet. And I thought it was. But guys, when you're making stuff out of what you have on hand make do with what you have try not to spend any money that's what happens and that'll be fine and we'll put on a, a piece there if it gets too cold however i do not have a piece big enough for this so it looks like i may have to buy at least one sheet here and fill that little spot in but anyways looking pretty good i think we're doing doing a pretty decent job with using our uh, leftovers <laughs> as it were but we're gonna get that gate and see how it fits across this gap well our minds keep cranking and turning around and so we keep modifying our plan here you see over here we put in some old hog panels we had and uh, just lo and behold it was about the right length for those two pieces to go along the chicken coop well it might not be too bad for them young pigs and maybe we'll have to readdress that someday but you know, I started thinking about this gate here, and that gate I have is a 16-footer, and it's going to go way past. And so I really don't 
think that's going to work real good because my idea was to be able to get in here in this section and load them up in some makeshift chute later in the year. So we've revamped the idea again all the way around. And we're going to go ahead and utilize this little man gate again. And we're going to put it, put it right here. Put a post here. And if you remember this little panel that we took off back at the back side of the coop back there, uh, we're going to use this right over here. And we're going to put it right there between there and there. So it's only going to have, what, five or six screws into the post and two screws into the post of the chicken coop. And we decided that'll be pretty easy to go ahead and remove when it's time to load them. And honestly, the width is almost perfect. Across here is maybe eight feet or so. My trailer is probably seven and a half. And that'll be just great. We'll pull up here. I'll swing the gate over. I'll put a makeshift panel in when it's time to load them. And we're thinking that might work. So we're going to go with that. And when it's time to clean, again, I've only got like six or seven screws i got to take off remove the panel and we can come in and clean this area and then leave. So this is like I said, what happens guys, we're trying to do this for little to no money with what we have. And so we've been constantly modifying that we got lots of time, you know, there'll be a couple months before I have to come in here and clean and it won't be that big of a deal to remove six or seven screws. So we're going to go for it. Let's change order. Well, there we go, guys. This is our finished product as far as we're going to get today. But as you see, we got our little panel over here. We reassigned it through the gate in the ground, and it's not doing too bad. It's kind of nice having a gate that swings in the pig pen for the first time, and I don't know when. But uh, I may have to put a shim board in there until they get bigger, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll visit that tomorrow. But anyways, open the old gate, come in here. This is the new pig pen looking really good i think they're going to have a good time in here guys it's going to be a lot more room less cramping hopefully they'll uh, be a little bit happier less cantankerous but we're gonna tomorrow probably we have to put a couple rails along the bottom of this fence here and just kind of fill the gaps in but other than that she's kind of a finished product other than those rails and in the meantime when it gets a little bit colder we're going to box this in a bit but for now we'll throw some straw in and it'll work out good and it's raining right now so i guess i will figure out how well this sheds water <laughs> but oh man it's kind of nice actually well there we go guys it's not a finished product but it's uh, pretty close to pig ready which is a good thing because i've been uh, talking with someone about getting some pigs and we've almost got a deal made and hopefully it'll happen sometime this week but look forward to that and uh, we'll get them in here and see how they like it and make the adjustments I guess this time carries on, but thanks for coming along, guys. Uh, like, follow, and subscribe. Come along with us on our 30-day Octoberthon as we dive into day number four tomorrow. Have a good one.